welcome to blsa design class so now let us see how to draw the schematic diagram and district diagram for complex logic gate using nmos so let us take the equation y is equal to a plus b into c this is my expression y is equal to a plus b into c first let us draw the schematic diagram first let us draw the schematic diagram for this so here what is specifies y equal to a plus b into c what is the meaning of that the a is parallel with b and the b and c are series in connection this is what it says here so now what does it do we'll do first uh, the pull up transistor we have to draw with the n mass so, okay then this is your vdd line okay let us draw now okay first a transistor let us draw the a transistor okay next let us a is parallel this is parallel with b and c are series so b c are series in connection so here one more then here one more so now what i will do let us say here this is a this will be b this is c then one two brother output this output is nothing but i'll take as y so now i can say this will be your vdd this will be your bss okay so now we will see you can see here the a is parallel with b a is a is parallel with b the b and the c are in series in connection now what we will do let us put we will identify the terminals let us identify the terminals here first so i start with here for a transistor and three transistor this i will make it a source because as you know what is the thing about source actually this will be source then what about this this will be also a source next what i will do this i will take it as output as drain next because output always should continue to drain only then i can take even this also should drain then for c transistor this is source means for the b c transistor this side will be drain actually okay next for b transistor this side is drain means then this side will be source next for this transistor for this transistor the vd is connected to source then this will be drain now i hope this is clear how to identify the terminal now a and c transistor sharing the sources common then the b transistor and the c transistor sharing the source and drain but both are same diffusion only because both are n transistor only so source and drain both are same diffusion as we know the source and drains are interchangeable then a transistor and b transistor sharing the 
D actually. So now let us draw the stick diagram. So to draw the stick diagram, first what you have to do? First you have to draw the metal. The metal is blue color. Yes. So first you have to draw the metal. The metal is blue color. So let us draw the metal first. Blue color. I am using the blue color here. This is VDD and PDD. This is VDD. This is this will be your VSS line. Okay. Now next, what you have to do? Next, we have to do how many transistors required? You see the top one transistor is required. So what I will do for top? Let us go for green color. That is, you have to draw the green color. You have to draw the green color. Have a green color diffusion. Green color diffusion. Yes. So draw the green color diffusion. Yes. So first. So green color diffusion. Next here you can see this. Here one diffusion for this transistor. Then B and C transistor. One more diffusion. Okay. Now what I will do next, I will take a power silicon that is red color. So I created the one power silicon this is for it. Next for A, I create a tips. Next B and C. You can see here because why I'm drawing like this? Because B and C sharing the same diffusion. So same diffusion I given. Let us put the text here. So for this, this side. I will take it as source. This side I will take it as source. Then this side I will take it as prime. Okay, next uh, for this, very important here A and C both are sharing the source actually. But what I will do here, I will put a source. Then here I will put a prime. Then same, this is A, correct? This is A actually. Then I'll consider this is C. It's better I will do first. This is your A actually. This transistor is nothing but A transistor. Then this transistor is nothing but a B transistor. This transistor is B transistor. Then this transistor is C transistor. This is C transistor, okay? So now C transistor. So what I will do, this I will consider as source. This I will consider as source here. This will be source. Then what about this here? So this I will consider as for C, that side is drain. That side is drain, correct? Then that side is drain in the sense. This is source. You can see here. I'll put here. See for C source drain. For B source, this is drain. Okay. Now I put all the things. Now let us draw the connections now. First, in this top, the source of this transistor is connected to VDD. Source is connected to VDD. So how can I connect now? Let me connect with the if we connect with metal because all the connections you have to do with metal only. So let me do that connection with the how to connect. Metal, this is the metal, okay. So from here to here, all the interconnections should be done with metal connections. I done the source next. So you come for here A and C. You can see here A and C. A source is connected to C source, but A source and the C source both are connected to VSS. A source is this connected to VSS. Then C source also is connected to VSS. Okay. Next, you can see the C source is over. C drain is connected to B source is already diffusion is there, then B drain. Yes, that B drain 
and the a drain is short circuited b drain and a drain so what i will do b drain this is your b drain which one this is the b drain this is your a drain you can draw with the diffusion also but instead of using a more diffusion what i will do i will use a metal connection here next uh, this drain is connected to this drain actually so how can i do this so let me do in this way now this will be your output so now next to what you have to do you have to see wherever the connection we made the wiring connection those points are not connected because of if uh, same layer is crosses each other then there will be a electrical connectivity but here these two are different layers the connection there is a connection over there so we need to put a contact here next uh, we have to put a contact here then here also we have to put a contact then here also we have to put a contact and here contact is required no it's not required next uh, here anywhere is required no so then here also the contact is required then this connection still is missing because this gate is connected to source this is the gate the gate is connected to the source means source is connected to vdd so i can extend this or just how can i connect in the sense so i have to do the connection so let me take from here to here i will connect sorry let me take which one directly i'll take a policy i will take a metal this is our metal i'll take a metal from here to here we have to connect then we have to use a contact here like this then now this gate is connected to source because the source is connected to already to the vdd so now next what you will do this will be your output y so this is where the stick diagram of complex logic here how to do in very easily thank you